Please stop forcing your snails out of activation. Stop forcing your snails out of activation. Welcome once again. This is KT Samoa, your favorite snail farmer. And uh, today I want to talk about uh, a serious issue that is going on. I chanced on a video on YouTube that scared me a lot and I really want to discuss today. But before that, I really want to thank the people who have reached out to me. Sometimes it is overwhelming. I get a lot of people um, sending me voice notes on WhatsApp. Some people, I wake up to even them praying for me on WhatsApp. And so I really appreciate all the people who are reaching out to me around the world. I really appreciate your calls. I, I try my best to answer every single call that comes through to me. Even if I'm not able to answer, I give a call back. So this to say that I appreciate your texts and your calls, everything. I also want to say that in, in March, I may be traveling uh, outside Ghana to Rwanda. I would appreciate that if there's any other snail farm in Rwanda or any other farmers in Rwanda who would want to link up with me, um, please you can send me an email and I would really appreciate to meet you when I visit Rwanda. Let's go straight into the video. Today I want to, well, I saw a video of somebody waking up a snail which is an activation. It is a dangerous thing to do and I want to explain to you why it is wrong. Stick to the end of this video to understand why. So aestivation really occurs with so many snails. Uh, in fact, all snails and some animals, even uh, sea turtles, whole lot of animals go on aestivation. Now they are forced to go into this aestivation due to certain conditions. For, for most animals, it's because of weather conditions. When it comes to snails, they also go on aestivation mainly mainly and then this is backed by research now everything i say you can you can do your re own research because on this platform i only talk about facts no lies and and all those um, um things they tell you but basically snails go on activation when the humidity in the environment is so low they do not like the dryness and so it puts them into that that mood the activation uh, um, um, period now, snails like um, the Roman snails, the escargots, when they are in the European countries where there's a lot of snow, when it gets to winter, these snails go on aestivation because it's too cold for them. And so um, I have a snail here. This is a partial aestivation where you see the snail is preparing itself to go into this mood. First, it starves itself by stopping. It will stop eating for, for a period. It will stop eating for a couple of weeks. It loses weight and then it goes on, 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 on this aestivation. Now, you can see that the snail has gone deep into its shell. And this is what we call partial aestivation. This is the full aestivation. You can see that the snail has completely gone in there. It has secreted its, its mucus and it is dried on top of it, they leave a little opening to breathe. And this um, can happen in your farm. Now, I want to say that this is it's, it's normal. It is natural, right? Because we live in times and seasons. So it is normal for you to have this condition in your farm. Um, but however, when they go on this, on this, um, this aestivation or hibernation mode in a farm, they shouldn't go beyond three weeks in this mood. However, the reason why we have uh, the deficits in market is because around the Hamatan season in West Africa, these snails can go into, into this aestivation mood for close to about six months. And it's because the humidity in the atmosphere is very low. So if this happens in your farm, that is an indication that the humidity levels in your farm is very, very low. And so you need to do something about it. Also, I've seen that um, some people on YouTube, I realized that uh, there's a gentleman on YouTube um, scraping, off, scraping off what we call the diaphragm from the opening of the shell. He's scraping it off with his fingers and, and then, and then um, he shakes the snail in, in a bowl of water trying to wake it up and force it out of isolation. Now, let me tell you this. 
when these snails go into this mood they slow down their metabolism their heart rate reduces um, their breathing reduces and so when you force them out of out of this mood what you are doing is that you are giving them a shock so if you do this you are likely to to kill your snail because you are forcing it out of um, estivation now it is just like a human being who is deep into sleep dreaming and then all of a sudden somebody pours chilled water on you at once you get you wake up out of shock and that can affect your your heart rate it's the same thing this gentleman was doing to this snail and then for people who, again this is why i say here we only speak the truth for people who have experience in snail farming you know that if you force a snail out of this mood trust me for instance if you are going to restock your farm and then you buy snails that are already in hibernation or estivation and you take them to your farm they're likely that they'll wake up in the process of, of transporting them to your farm now when you introduce them to your farm it is it is like a 98 percent probability that they will go back into estivation even though they have been disturbed so i don't see the need for anybody to distract the snails from this mood and wake them force them up and in the video the gentleman says that he's he's trying to teach the snails that they have water in the farm so they don't have to go on estivation well sorry but this is an indication that your, your farm lacks humidity and so instead of forcing the snail out of estivation it is actually um, um a signal for you to do something about the environment it is not really about the snail it's about the environment you are creating for them so please do not let anybody um, 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 lie to you. Even these snails that I'm showing to you as samples, I hate it because I'm disturbing them by carrying them this way. Um, we tried we tried to show you a, a snail and you see just by lifting it, we disturbed it. So we, don't, we do not want to have these instances, disturbing them by lifting them. Usually when you find them in this way, you cover them with a lot of leaves um sometimes some people i prefer that you just dig very shallow and bury them there and let them rest cover them with a lot of leaves continue watering continue putting some amount of food in there and trust me as the humidity over there improves they'll come out of this mood easily so please do not let anybody misinform you here on this platform that you need to force your snails out of uh, uh, um, estivation i believe that you have learned something now let some people do not know look even these are these are fresh water um snails they are you know there are so many species of snails these are found in water and these snails even go on estivation even uh, um, um, marine snails they go on estivation especially in in winter when it's very cold these snails have to go on estivation or into estivation so please um make sure you get the right information and again, my name is Katie Samuel. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I hope I've been able to correct you on some of the misinformation that is going on here. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, reach out to me for trainings. Um, visit us, let's have a conversation on how to grow uh, snow farming in, in Africa and be able to reach the world. Thank you, goodbye.